Hey guys, me Adam Man here. Today I'm gonna show you a way to remove this guy if you're doing a timing belt job. Now in the background here we've got a parts motor that I'm just dismantling here and it's in various states of disassembly of course but uh, which makes it a bit tougher even than what it should be. So a lot of times when you try and remove the timing belt sprocket from the crankshaft it is like welded on there it just doesn't want to come off and that can be for a number of different reasons that can be because maybe somebody put loctite on it previously and it's glued on uh, it might be rusted on um, and you know it just doesn't want to come off sometimes they slide off no problem other times you end up chipping the edges trying to pry them off and you have to be very careful if you're trying to pry it off um, you know try it very lightly and if it doesn't come off then go to this method that we're using here uh, if you pry too hard on this you will chip it and break it and you'll also potentially do damage to the oil pump that's right behind it so be very careful and use caution with that okay this is an example of one um, you know where it chipped very easily when it was uh, trying to get pried off so that's what we're trying to remove now what I got here is a steering wheel puller or a puller set comes in a little thing like this and I've used a couple of the factory bolts from the car because uh, they're just 10 mil heads on them but they work pretty well for this purpose so I've been hammering away at this thing trying to get it to go and I think I've finally got some movement on it so let's see if we can get it to go the rest of the way Yeah, it's coming off. Now, I've been working at this for a while. This thing wasn't budging, and I was hitting it with the uh, with the penetrating oil and all kinds of stuff, and just sort of tapping away at it as well. And we finally got it to to move. So that'll be off in a second here, and then we'll take a look and we'll just see what's going on in there. There we go. We got it. So um, that's a sixteen millimeter head on the end of the puller here and a half inch drive i was using the three quarter inch before and it or three eighths sorry i was using the three eighths before it just wasn't doing it the half inch made a difference so um, there we are so as you can see that's pretty rusty and let's just undo these bolts here hopefully i haven't stretched the bolts or bent the bolts because i'm going to reuse these next time i got to do this so I added a washer to them so they wouldn't pull through here and bend, and that seems to have made a big difference. There we go, so I'll keep those in my puller kit for next time. There we go. Oops, so let's just take a look here. So that's the end of the, so the puller has a little nose on it like that, but it also has a little ring that I used as well. That way we're getting, so that's the, the ring there. And that goes right on the end of the nose of this thing right there, like that. And that pushes on here like that. Now, now that we've got this thing apart, I can see what's been going on and why this thing was so hard to get off. So I'm gonna bring you in a little closer here, like that. And we'll angle you down. Now this crankshaft is toast. It is completely thrashed. So there you go. So that groove there is twice as wide as it should be. You can see in the in there, you can see the woodruff key is in there. It's been loctited in or or something. I don't know how they've gotten that to stay in but they basically glued this thing together and hope for the best. That groove's twice as wide as it should be. That crankshaft is absolutely toast at this point. I wouldn't reuse it. Um, so there you go. That's how you get one of these things off. Hopefully that works for you. If you have a stuck one, leave, uh, leave some comments if you have any questions. And uh, as always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll make more for you soon. Thanks guys.